Hey, what's good? I'm professional shooting coach Colin Castell, and today we're going to break down LeVar Ball's jump shot. Really? Alright, so a video went viral the other day of LeVar Ball getting jumpers up after one of LaMelo's games. And he missed a lot of the jumpers and he finally made one. But I got a ton of comments and a ton of messages from people wanting me to break it down because after all, I am the shooting guru, right? So what I originally wasn't going to do it, but then I decided to for a couple of reasons. Number one, I have a lot of older players who watch my stuff and they want to get better for men's league or city league or whatever it is. And so I wanted to prove that you can always get better no matter how old you are. Number two, a lot of the mechanics that he's having a little bit of issues with are things that a lot of kids struggle with as well and so what I wanted to do is even though he's a little bit older of a player and not playing competitively there's still some things that might be able to help you out so as we watch this think about your own jumper as well and stay tuned to the end of this video because I have something free that you're not going to want to miss now the very first thing we look at on LeVar's jump shot is his set point timing so let me talk about this as he's getting ready to shoot the ball goes up as his hips stay loaded so the ball goes up and his hips stay loaded. So what you notice is the ball has to hang out above his head right here for a while while his lower body fires. And that's kind of a two motion shot. Now the problem with that is you lose a ton of power, you lose a ton of fluidity. And because of that, a lot of times people who have these two motion shots end up missing short. So we watch the video where were most of his misses. Short, right? That's the number one rule in shooting instruction. You want to see where the misses are at first and then work backwards. So it totally makes sense why he's missing because he's basically bringing the ball up, he's keeping his hips loaded, and then he's going into fire, and then he fires the ball. It's segmented to motion shot, right? You can think about it like an uppercut punch. If I like started my uppercut punch and then stopped it halfway through my punch and then continued, it's not going to be very powerful as if I kept it one smooth all the way through. So the very first easy, easy fix is if his ball and his hips move together. So as his hips move down, ball moves down, as his hips move up, ball moves up. If he can keep the hips and ball moving together, it's going to be smooth, one motion, his set point's going to look better, and he's going to get a lot more power into the jump shot. All right, so the next thing I think that can help LeVar out is to keep his feet more parallel. So when he's getting ready to shoot, he kind of digs the toe, as I call it, and this is something that a lot of shooters actually do, meaning as he's getting ready to shoot, his feet start pretty parallel, but as he gets ready to shoot, his right foot cocks in, and so it's almost like his knees are getting ready to clank together, where one foot's cocked in and one foot's a little bit more straight. Now, depending on your, you know, what kind of shooter you are, you might shoot square to the basket, you might shoot with a tilt. Either way is okay as long as it works for you, but your feet always want to stay parallel, meaning I don't want, if I draw a straight line for my two feet, I don't want those lines to intersect, right? I want them to be nice and parallel so they're going straight together. So if I'm a tilt shooter, they're nice and straight together. If I'm squared up, they're nice and straight together, right? But anytime we get that cross, we're gonna get a lot of lower body tension. You're not gonna be able to maximize your power or your fluidity as much. So you can think about like the first tip we talked about, right? The early set point, and then we put this together, we're losing power in two separate spots, so all of a sudden it's gonna be really, really hard to make jump shots. So keep your feet parallel, whether they're squared or tilted, it doesn't really matter, it depends player to player, but if you keep them parallel, you're gonna get a lot more power generation. All right, so the next key that I think would help LeVar make more shots almost instantly is to get more hip load. Now this is totally normal for somebody who's a little bit older, not really playing as much competitively, but what you'll notice is as he's getting ready to shoot, his chest is really, really high up, and if we were to draw an arrow from it, it would go pretty much straight towards the wall or maybe even up towards the basket. Now, if you watch most great shooters when they shoot, their hips load and their chest points more down towards the ground, right? If we freeze frame Steph Curry shooting, he's more so right here with, the, with his chest pointed about three feet in front of him. Now, the reason why this is so important, again, power factory, hips are where a ton of power comes from. Think about throwing a baseball, power comes from your hips. Think about throwing a punch, power comes from your hips, right? Basketball is the exact same thing. So if LeVar, when he's shooting, instead of keeping his chest straight up and down, if he can load it just a little bit further down right here, he's going to load those hips. He's going to get more power, more pop into his jumper. Now, what's crazy is we've talked about three mechanics. All of them can help him with his power. So you can imagine if he like tweaked one of them, probably he's going to get more power. And a lot of those misses that were front iron are probably all makes. Now, what's super interesting is these are some of the same things that you know I would prescribe for the other brother. Some of these exact same issues are things that would help Lonzo and help Lamelo and help Leangelo. So it's really, really interesting because one tiny little tweak can go a super, super long ways. You don't have to like completely reinvent your entire form like a lot of people think you have to, right? So again, if he can load his hips a little bit more, he's going to get more power, more pop, and that's going to get more 
fluidity in his jumper. All right, if this video helped you out, hit that like button and then head to the comment section down below and let me know what you want to see next. And if you're new to Shot Mechanics, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell. That way you get all of our videos directly to you and you can get better every single day. Also, this video is brought to you by my guys over at NOAA Basketball, the revolutionary technology that actually tracks every single shot you take and gives you a ton of data. So if you're a coach, a high school coach, or a college program, this is one of the best pieces of tools or technology you can get. So what they're going to do is they're giving you a free NOAA Shooting Academy built by yours truly, where you can get free drills, free breakdowns, all that sort of good stuff to make sure we're dialing your jumper in right. So to get free access to the NOAA Shooting Academy, all you gotta do is click the top link in the description down below and get instant access today. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castella. Thanks for watching, and until until next time, splash on.